Hi everybody, Mopsy here. Somebody was asking me the other day about editing a purchased design and the problems that they had and I explained how to um, how to edit and they were able to solve the problem but I thought it might be worth doing a quick video on this so I'm just going to open up a file, a purchased file this one I think is from Embroidery Garden, uh, sorry, Embroidery Library, and let's go into it. And <clears throat> I wish I could remember who it was, but whoever was asking had a file similar lines to this, where they just wanted one element of it, like the, the pansy here, but they didn't want anything else on the uh, from the um, file. And the trouble is, if I come to delete these buds and other items here, if I click on it, I can't just delete it because I'll be deleting part of the pansy that I want to keep. And if I come into Outline Edit and go into my embroidery settings, I get no options at all, no choices at all, because it's a, a, a pre-digitized design. So what you do in this instant, once you've opened the design on the screen, you need to go into um, design on your menu and convert the stitches back to blocks again. So I'm going to click that and you can see the bar at the bottom hopefully where it's more or less like unstitched everything and this really <laughs> really shows shows everything up here. and all I'm going to do now is delete everything except for this pansy here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a box out as long as I miss that pansy at the bottom and that's selected those parts and I'm just going to click my delete key on my keyboard and all being well that will delete quite a few of those elements there they go I'm going to zoom in a bit closer and drag another box over that area and delete that. I'm going to pick up that and, and, and I'm hitting delete on my keyboard. Um, I'm going to drag over this area here and click delete on my keyboard. And that's gone. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, pick up this area here, delete and pick up this area here, delete, this area here, delete and all that we're left with on the screen is the petals of the pansy with the yellow fiddle in the centre. There's another little part there which I missed, which I'm going to delete and now I'm going to go to design um, what I'm going to do. Oh no, I'm going to I'm going to save it. Um, always do a save design as. If you don't, you're liable to overwrite your probably expensive purchased file. So <coughs> here I'm going to call it Pansy, and I'm going to save it as an FHE. I could save it as an XXX or anything. I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to reopen the Pansy file. I'm going to say center the design. In this case, I might as well go to the small hoop. Be realistic. And so there we have the the pansy left. So that's how you can go about editing a pre-existing design. And I hope that helps, guys. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Oh, well, I think that most most files you can do that with. And I found that the Husqvarna files are probably the easiest ones to edit, mainly because Husqvarna, Viking, Singer, they're all sort of combined. Um, a little bit more um, difficult with some of the others, but the thing to do is try it. It will either work or it won't for you. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.